Hello everyone, Dr. Kimball here. Today I'm going to talk to you about back cracking. So why does it feel so good when I go to the chiropractor or when I lay down on the ground and I have my partner or spouse crack my back and everything releases and isn't that a good thing? I mean, is everything just kind of getting cemented together and I'm opening it up and releasing it and then I should be better? Or maybe you're thinking, is this really healthy for my back that I crack it? Well, I'm a spine surgeon. I operate on the spine pretty much every day, well, two to three days a week at least, and I look at the spine and get to handle it and move it around and do all sorts of things that uh, give me a little bit more insight into, into how it functions. So uh, first I'm going to back up and kind of explain to you why you feel better when you get your back cracked. Okay, And this is really something that the chiropractic community benefits from. Um, or they you know, go through all these popping and cracking maneuvers. Why do you actually feel better? So you gotta understand a little bit about uh, sensory pathways in the nervous system and um, how they kind of interact together. So there are different pathways within the spinal canal that transmit sensation from your extremities, from your low back, all the way up to your brain where you sense it, right? So one of these pathways would be pain, another would be general sensation, another would be position sense, and then there's these other little receptors, we call them mechanoreceptors, and they really kind of help your brain to understand where your, your body is in space, and they also um, can be stimulated, just like the pain fibers and the heat fibers and the numbness, all those different type of pathways, there's usually a different nerve or a different type of nerve for each one of those pathways. When you crack your back or get it cracked, those mechanoreceptors get a major jolt, like an overriding, overwhelming increase in electrical activity. That's really what happens when you stimulate or feel anything. It's just increased electrical transmission from whatever extremity up to your brain, telling, you know, transmitting a message. So when you crack your back, that pathway is hyper excited and it overrides the pain pathway that's all, that you may have some pain um, that is occurring. And so really what's happening when you crack your back, it's the pain's not going away or the, the um, uh, genesis of the pain, whatever's causing that pain pathway to be stimulated isn't just disappearing. It's that these mechanoreceptor pathway is now overriding and all you feel is the override of the mechanoreceptor which blunts out the pain pathway and then you feel good. But then what happens? A couple days after you have your back cracked or hours, whatever, it, it seems to come back and that's because those fibers calm back down, the transmission reduces, and then that baseline underlying pain pathway that is being excited for some reason, you start to feel that again. So cracking can, um, you know, the overall, the, the uh, process of popping a joint or stimulating these uh, receptors is not necessarily bad if you do it um, in a very high velocity fashion, and you might have seen someone crack their neck, I, I don't recommend that. And there are, in rare cases, you can actually injure you know, nerves or the spinal cord or even one of these important vertebral arteries that goes into your brain. It is very rare that that happens, but I have seen maybe five or six times in my career where patients have had their neck manipulated and, and, and caused an injury to the, one of those vessels, which, heaven forbid, that can cause a stroke. So most chiropractors don't do that um, that aggressively, but some do still. So you just need to be aware of that. Uh, there are other techniques that can cause you to feel a pop or a crack. I would say if your bone density is low, like osteoporosis, that's probably not a good idea because the amount of stress to crack or pop or you know, temporarily adjust that joint might be too much for the vertebrae or the bone to handle and you can actually fracture the vertebrae so that's something to be careful about. Uh, additionally, if you um, have adjustments on the regular, you might end up missing out on something that's really going on. Why is the pain really happening? So is there, is there a nerve impingement? Is there a slipping of my disc? Is something else really going on? And then what you might do is just delay and avoid ever really learning or understanding what's really going on. And you could end up, end up um, 
missing out on that diagnosis and delaying treatment and potentially causing longer term injury to the, the spine and the structures.